Hello guys, welcome to my channel once again, and I will be playing The Walking Dead. Episode 3, Long Road Ahead. I played through the first two uh, episodes, but that was a while back before I had a channel. And I was kind of planning of backtracking and doing them all over again, so you guys can see them. And then I kind of figured that you guys seen them all basically, so be kind of pointless. So, let's get started. Previously on The Walking Dead. Get the gates open! We've got wounded! I want to know why you thought bringing more mouths to feed was a good idea. You've been good to me and my family. You saved Duck from those monsters. And you stood up to Larry at the drugstore. I won't forget that. No one's trying to cut you out of anything. Those look like the people who raided my oh, camp. Man, you're paranoid. Fuck you! Did you tell anyone out there who you were, or that you were tied to this place? That's right. I know who you are, and I know you're a killer. He's not dead! Somebody help me! Come on! We know this guy's not gonna make it! Kenny! What the fuck? Sounds like a car. It's a shitload of food and supplies back here. We have to take this, Clementine. We need it to survive. Don't worry, little girl. Bandits got their eye on that dairy. As long as they keep getting food from them, you'll be safe. Very dramatic. Been waiting for this episode three forever. So happy to have it. Looks like this is our lucky day. Yeah, this might actually go smoothly. We deserve it after last time. Made up your mind yet? About what? When it comes to the getting the hell out of Macon, I bet you're in the let's stay put camp considering I've been pushing everyone to leave. We should go. The motel's run its course, and it's not safe. Well, if that's what you think, you should probably fucking speak up. Lily's dug in. like last time. Over the rig, into the pharmacy, and scrape together whatever supplies are left. We didn't leave much in there. Hey, we're out of options. Something's better than nothing. There's always options. You okay? The ladders come loose. I'm not sure how many more trips she's got in her. I'm not sure how many more trips we've got in us. No kidding. like she's had it. What now? I'll find another way up. We better get a move on. They're blocked by all the fallen concrete. Hmm. 
Lily's not doing so good, huh? It's not good. I'm worried. No shit. There's a lot to be worried about. She's gonna snap. Looking for agreeing to take that stuff from the station wagon? I haven't asked. You even talk to that girl anymore? This guy is kind of a douchebag. Duck was asking about that guy at Herschel's farm last night. Really? I wasn't sure it phased him. Of course it did. He'll get over it. Herschel's son is one of how many now? We've all seen a lot worse. That's a fucking thing to say. I'm talking about my kid here. You're sure you're up for this? Lee, I'm fine. I've got this. Give me your hand. <laughs> Shit! Next time I'm bringing Ben. Help me get out. I'm pretty fucked up like that. We should be good to clear this place out, but we ain't got all day. Get everything you can out of these racks. Don't forget underneath the counter this time. I'll clear down here and then we gotta go.
This is so intense. I just die. Ah, oh, I just died. I was like freaking out over here. No bitch, no bitch, no. Fuck was that? They're everywhere. You took care of yourself, didn't you? Oh, he's about to leave you. God, he's such a dick. You're back. Finn found some stickers in the car, and I put them on my walkie. Hey, sweet pea. That's neat. I'll find you in a minute. Looks like we got the kid on watch again. What'd you get? We might as well leave a sign out that says the men are gone and come and rape our women and children. Ha. Huh. So, what did you get? Just what was left. Which was a lot, actually. Take a look. We're fine, by the way. Nice work. This'll keep us going. If we carry on like this, we'll get through the winter here. The winter? We'll freeze our asses off here! Because piling into an RV with you, after what you did to my dad, is so appealing. Why wouldn't it be? You know I'll do what it takes to keep everyone safe. We're already safe. Take a look at the wall, Lily. That's not graffiti. Those are bullet holes. And we got enough arrow shafts sticking out of it to dry our laundry. We do whatever is best for the kids. Doesn't that make sense? It's suicide out there. We'll die in here. You're right. You could see someone sleeping and kill one of us. So, you two are, uh, having a disagreement? Cool it, Doug. Don't boss people around. 
I'm sorry. Somebody needs to make executive decisions for the group, though. And I don't think you're capable any- We're strongest together. I know you think I'm on her side, but there are no sides, damn it. What about the food situation? What about protection? What about when this place falls? Somebody's gotta be thinking about this shit. How has this not been working? We have everything we need. Because of me, Lily. No, because Lee knows how to take care of people, not just things. We got all the protection we need. And when 15 bandits hop over that wall in the middle of the night? They won't be going back over. Everything that happens to us is another excuse for you to pull this crap about leaving. All I want is a week of peace, of not hearing it. Do you know how we got these supplies? Your pal and I got lucky and let a girl get eaten out there. What? Some girl came screaming out of an alley. She had dead hanging all over her. She gave us enough time to get everything we could out of the drugstore. You just let her suffer like what? Like bait? God, what is happening? You weren't out there. She was dead anyway. It made the most sense in the moment. Lee's right. We've been putting our lives on the line doing these runs into the city. You wouldn't believe the shit we see. <laughs> we all appreciate it, Ken. Look, Macon and its people aren't savable. It's not a town. It's full of walkers. And the people who were left are dying and wandering out onto the streets. It's hell on earth. And it's coming this way. It's not going to be easier out on the road. How would you know? What I know? I know you're not above murder. I know somebody has been stealing our supplies. That's right, stealing. And I know the list of people I can trust here gets smaller every day. Now everybody get out. Total bitch fit. She'll get over it. She's riling everybody up otherwise. You understand, Ken. All I know is, whenever this shit happens, I'm the fucking bad guy. I'd like a thank you for once. For once! Uh, rough day, I guess. Yep, I've just been calling them days lately. I don't know what it is, but it's probably worth talking to Lily about things going missing. Ever since her dad died, she's been a live wire. And now... If she's paranoid, that's a bad mix. And I think I'm going to leave this episode right here. On the count of it's like 5 o'clock in the morning. So if you want to see any more, you should comment, subscribe, like, and favorite. Because every little bit helps. Thank you for watching.